Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Merrick here, back with another daily chess puzzle video. Um, this is day 210 of posting a chess puzzle every day for a year. And I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but something I've already done many times before um, for around like the first 50 days of posting a chess puzzle. I'm going to be doing another live chess puzzle video where I can show you guys um, my thought process and uh, how I solve these puzzles. So, um, here it is white's move. Black just played knight b3, um, forking these two uh, rooks on a1 and c1. However, we have our queen on f6, and um, we are controlling a lot of squares around black's king. So, first things first, let's brainstorm some candidate moves. Um, rook takes c8 is a pretty good candidate move. Bishop g4 is also a pretty good one threatening bishop e takes e6, so I'm probably going to have to decide between these two moves, bishop g4 and rook takes c8. Well, let's, let's start with rook takes c8 first. Rook takes c8, rook takes c8, and then bishop g4. Um, however, I think black can just defend with uh, rook e8, and um, we won't really have anything after this. However, if we play bishop g4, um, let's say rook takes c1 check, rook takes c1, uh, rook e8, and then we can play rook c8, um, deflecting the rook on e8 to force it to take c8, and we play bishop takes e6 check. So, uh, let's go. So bishop g4 should be the right answer. If knight takes e1, um, which I didn't really expect since we just played bishop takes e6 check here, uh, bishop takes e6 check, queen takes, queen takes, and we are um, up a bit of material, so this is a pretty good um, solution. So let me guys, um, let me show you uh, guys what I was talking about. Since um, it might be hard to follow, since I did not show it on the board, but I can show it now. So knight b3, um, bishop g4. This attacks e6. But first, let me show you what happens after rook takes c8. I said rook takes c8, rook takes c8. If bishop g4 here, um, black just plays rook e8, as I said before, and we don't have any good uh, way of continuing. Our black's knight is still attacking our rook, and we don't have an attack. However, if we play bishop g4, as I said, if rook e8, um, we play rook takes c8, and rook takes c8, and then we play bishop takes e6 check, and after this, we are completely winning. And if rook takes c1 check, rook takes c1, rook e8, there is, as I said, the only winning move, rook c8, deflecting the rook um, from defending e6, and after rook takes c8, we play bishop takes e6 check, queen takes e6, queen takes e6 check, uh, king goes somewhere, we take on c8, and we have a winning queen versus knight endgame. So, um, I hope this clarifies uh, and explains what I was talking about and shows my thought process. And let me know in the future, uh, what kind of videos do you want to see? Do you want to see live video solving? Um, live puzzle solving? Uh, puzzles from games, uh, basically, where I, I analyze... Uh, I analyze... Um, I analyze uh, famous games or games of uh, famous players like Hikaru or Magnus, and or do you want me to just stick with the old uh, puzzles where I just solve them first and then I explain it to you so it's more concise? But um, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And thank you for watching, and see you in day 211. Have a wonderful day.